Well, I still have access to my classroom, so I guess I can make a video. I don't know how many of you are going to watch this, and depending on how many of you do and how many of you like it, and if I still have access to my classroom and a projection, I can still kind of give you a very brief set uh, summarizing of your notes. Because I understand, especially with economics rather than history or another subject, it might be a little bit tough to understand. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping this actually helps in terms of understanding the material. So we're gonna quickly go through this. I'm gonna post the slides for you and uh, hopefully it is helpful to your learning. So this week, because it's a very short week, we're only gonna do a tiny little topic. In fact, I would have been able to do half of the note, or I would have been able to do about the notes that we're doing today in half of one class. Um, but oh well, that's what we're gonna do this week and we're gonna step up what we're gonna learn for next week. So we're gonna talk about macroeconomics. That's all about what fourth quarter is about. And so what we've learned so far has been about microeconomics, which if we look at these two pictures, it kind of gives you a summary. So like macro is like all the fish and micro is like tiny little Nemo. There's a difference. One looks at the whole picture. Micro looks at a tiny picture. We're not to, uh, not, we are now about to get very broad. Just to give you a little idea for those of you who are thinking about going into economics in your future, here are some different courses that are uh, offered at San Diego State University in economics. Now, of course, who knows if you'll go to college, maybe they'll all just be shut down forever, but you never know. So as you can see, there's lots of different economics courses, ranging from your entry level of macro and micro, all the way to your super advanced, like international monetary theory and policy. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you that the courses in green are gonna be macro courses, the courses in red are gonna be micro courses, and the courses in black are gonna be both. So let me show you once again all these different courses. And remember, green is macro, which is what we're about to start learning. Red was micro, what we already learned. And as you're gonna see, most of this stuff is in green, meaning most of the stuff that you would learn if you go into an economics major is going to be the macro stuff. So then what's the point of what we learned first quarter? The first quarter is good. It allows you to look at a specific business. If you go into a business field, if you go into uh, work for a specific business, you would need to know that information in order to help your business grow. But if you're an economist and an economics major, you need macroeconomics. That's what the top people at the White House need to know because they need to know how to be able to solve an economic crisis. Hey, like the one we're in right now, COVID-19. Okay, so economics, this is review. You should already know this. Economics is the study of how people use scarce resources to satisfy their unlimited wants. Like when they go to a business. Microeconomics is the study of individual consumers, an individual business, an individual market. In this case, I have hoedads. Of course, right now it doesn't really look like that, but when this is all over, hopefully it does once again. It decides how firms uh, decide what to produce. That's micro. It decides for the number of workers to hire for a specific business. This is Milton from Office Space. Great movie. If you have lots of time, you should watch it. The whole reason I have a red stapler is because of Milton. It's like three hours long, it's, it, it, but it's a, it's a good comic. You should maybe take a look. I have a video from it, but it'd be funny in class, but right now it's just a waste of your time. Goodbye. It also microeconomics looks at the prices at which goods and services are sold, like Dunder Mifflin deciding how much are they gonna sell their paper for. How consumers maximize their own utility. Again, microeconomics would look at each one of these individual people and figure out why on earth do they like enjoying jumping out of an airplane and why on earth do these four people find that fun. It looks at minimal cost to that person. How market forces, supply and demand determine their prices. Again, I have a video from the office, but it also looks at wages. We can skip through that video and the quantity of goods and services produced. That's all microeconomics. 
That's what we've learned so far, an individual business. Macroeconomics looks at the economy as a whole. So what we're gonna be doing this quarter is looking at the entire economy. First off, how much money is out there in total? How much money is available? We look at government spending and taxation, especially in a time like this. Just now, President Trump was talking about what kind of stimulus package he's going to give to all these businesses that are in dire need of money or they might go bankrupt, like our airlines, our hotels, restaurants. It looks at our employment and unemployment numbers. How many jobs are we adding? How many are we losing? We see the unemployment percentage went way up in 2008 and our, during our last recession. It might go up again by a lot, especially if our businesses start going out of business, like the airlines, travel, restaurants. There's a lot of businesses in dire need right now. Construction. It also takes a look at our total economic output or our production. How much total stuff are we making? It takes a look at our booms, like for the last 10 years, and our busts, like right now. So is each question primarily one of micro or macroeconomics? The pricing of fast food restaurants in San Diego, California. I'm actually going to put these all up so it doesn't take forever. All right, let's take a look. The pricing of fast food restaurants in San Diego, California, that looks at one city, one specific industry that's more microeconomics. The effect of European debt on world banking networks, that seems more broad level, that's macro. How tariffs among nations affect international trade, very broad, that's macro. The rise of Apple share price from 2006 to 2019, looking at one specific business, that's micro. The wage elasticity of doctors. So how much does their wages change in order of demand? Right now their demand is pretty high, right? But that's looking at one specific uh, job in one specific city that's micro. The effect of price discrimination on airline revenues. Again, looking at one business that's micro. The impact of government spending on our output, that of course, whole level macro. Trends in our unemployment since the Great Recession. Broad level, macro, looks at the entire economy. Consumer demand for jelly beans in the United States, it's one product that's micro. Inflation estimates for our economy, broad, looks at our entire economy, that's macro. So then what I would have you do is kind of look at a micro and macro theme of the following topics. So if you're looking at movies, a micro theme would be like looking at one specific movie or show like How I Met Your Mother, or it took 10 seasons to find out how he met his mother. What was that character's name? Can't even remember. Great show. Ba, 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 ba. You know, have you seen it? Whatever. This is so weird making jokes like on a video. <laughs> movies. If you're looking at a broad level, you talk about like all horror movies or all comedy movies in general. That'd be a macro level. Healthcare. If you look at one specific doctor, like Doctor House, that's micro level. Or one specific hospital. Right now, we look at the broad level, especially with our current events. We look at the healthcare capacity of the United States and how we are going to be able to handle so many people possibly coming into the healthcare system. That'd be a macro level. Teenagers, we look at you and your spending habits. That's just you, micro level. We look at all teenagers and what are they doing during a time like this? How are they spending their money when they're sitting at home? How are they spending their time? What are they doing? Are they going out? Are they staying home? Are they having friends over? What are they doing? Macro level. Macroeconomics will look at an entire force, all the trees, while microeconomics focuses on one individual tree. And that's it for today. So the homework assignment that goes along with this is taking a look at macro versus micro and answering a few questions on it. I am available during our Google Meet time Take a look at the Schoology update for all this information. You can email me with your parent copied if you want a response. Invest in the stock market. We're going to get through this. I'm hoping I can make another video, but if I lose access to my classroom, which I might as of tomorrow, well then, this will be the only one. Unless I start making these at home. That'd be kind of weird. Okay, I'm going to come over here and turn off the video. Got two tables stacked up on top of each other so they can see my tall self. <laughs>